In the Philippines, there is a confusion between manufacturers and the government regarding motorcycles that carry the 400 label, yet the engine displacement is below it. It spheres in the range 390 to 399 cc. This problem also occurs with other motorcycle series with 500, 600 and others. However, one dilemma that exists in the country is that there is an engine limit of 400 cc for motorcycles that can enter Philippine highways which are a necessity for travelers in the metro. This article ranks recommended motorcycles that actually have 400 cc and above of engine displacement regardless of the label. Here are the top expressway legal motorcycles in the Philippines 2021. The Honda CB500X has exactly 471 cc of engine displacement. This vehicle is capable of touring and off-roading. The rider is protected with the breeze as they drive along the road thanks to the presence of a tall windscreen. It may sometimes become a bumpy ride given the unevenness of the road, but this two-wheeled machine will keep its riders comfortable over long trips. The Honda brand is a familiar name in the market which does not come as a surprise. The vehicle has a good standing for being fuel efficient. The Honda CB500X gets a good impression wherever it is taken in. It gets a good head turn whether ridden through cities or provincial areas of the country. The bike provides that level of safety and confidence for its riders while maintaining power and speed. The good thing about Honda and its products is its popularity in the market. The availability of replacement parts comes easy which makes it less of a hassle to maintain. The price of Honda CB500X starts at 413,000 pesos. The Honda CB500F has an exact engine displacement of 471 cc. This is a naked bike that has got some design and speed. It is one of those bikes that are great for long travels because of its durable engine quality and strong body frame. Like most naked bikes, the parts are exposed elegantly. In terms of design, it now has more aggressive lights, tougher and bulkier body, and nicely coated finishing. The engine of Honda continues to run smoothly. Thanks to the brand's popularity in the country, the availability of service centers to help maintain vehicle quality is not too much of a hassle. The Honda CB500F is certainly a reliable model that is not as expensive if someone is looking for a good vehicle on a long-term basis. It remains comfortable and easy to manage. Whether this bike will be used for daily activities or weekend getaways, it can certainly meet the standards. The price of Honda CB500F starts at 315,000 pesos. Sitting as the Sim Philippines top of the line scooter, the Maxim 400i delivers great performance in its beefy appearance. This motorcycle also offers comfortable riding even on long distance travel. This Taiwanese maxi scooter is equipped with dual LED headlights and taillights, dual step seat, a 15-inch front, and 14-inch rear wheels. Other notable features include an under-seat compartment and a center console that displays a digital odometer, an analog fuel gauge and speedometer, as well as a tachometer, trip meter, and oil change indicator. The suspension setup is taken care of by telescopic front forks and rear unit swing arm while braking duties are provided by dual discs in front and a single disc in the rear. It also comes with a pass switch for additional safety. Powering this muscular scooter is a Euro 3 compliant 400cc single cylinder, 4-stroke, liquid-cooled gasoline engine that can churn out a maximum output 33 horsepower and 35 newton meters of torque. This power mill is then connected to a continuously variable transmission. Available in gray, matte black, white and brown variants. The Sim Maxim 400i price starts at 318,000 pesos. The Honda Rebel 500 carries an engine displacement of 471cc. 
With its retro-style design and a simple round headlight, the Honda Rebel 500 has earned respect from the market. By the looks of it, we can easily see the magnificent setup that it has. It keeps things clean and classy. The bike is highly comfortable to ride even through long travels. It is certainly easy to use which does not intimidate beginners. The handlebars are appropriately placed that does not require riders to reach. Engine-wise, the power of Honda's machines is reliable. The Honda Rebel 500 may feel and look a bit old school, but it is certainly far from being outdated. It meets modern standards and needs for a motorcycle today. The bike is a real cruiser that can be enjoyable to ride when touring around the metro or across provinces. It is easy to handle and very handsome to sport on any road. The Honda Rebel 500 price start at 375,000 pesos. Apart from its sporty and rugged profile, the Bristol Venturi 500 manages to deliver that adventure-driven performance without breaking the pocket. It was locally launched last October 2019, with only one ABS variant available. For its price, it does come equipped with a generous amount of features. The following include engine crash guards, a skid plate, 19-inch front wheels, 17-inch rear wheels, a fully digital instrument panel, a USB power socket, and many more. Power is sourced from a 471cc DOHC liquid-cooled parallel twin engine. Capable of producing 47 horsepower and 43 newton meters of torque. Its beating heart is then paired with a 6-speed manual transmission. As for safety and security features, the Venturi 500 comes standard with front and rear disc brakes and anti-lock braking system ABS. Available in blue, red and grey variants. The Bristol Venturi 500 price starts at 358,000 pesos. Launched in the local market in 2018, the CF Moto 400 NK is an expressway legal naked bike that aims to attract bikers who are up for thrilling. Here in the Philippines, aesthetic wise, the CF Moto 400 NK brags its sharp and muscular appearance, LED headlight and taillight, dual stepped seat, a pair of 17 inch wheels, and a 17 liter fuel tank. It also gets a center console that displays digital odometer, fuel gauge, and speedometer. There's also a tachometer and trip meter for additional rider information. As for enhanced rideability and handling, this naked bike is installed with retractable front suspension and cantilever rear suspension. To keep the rider's peace of mind, it is equipped with front and rear disc brakes, along with anti-lock braking system abs, as well as a pass switch. When it comes to performance, the 400 NK can sprint up to 155 km per hour top speed, this feat is thanks to its powerful 400cc liquid-cooled DOHC gasoline engine that can churn out a maximum output of 41 horsepower and 34 newton meters of torque. This power mill is then coupled to a six-speed manual gearbox. Available in blue and white variants, the CF Moto 400 NK price starts at 219,800 pesos. Kawasaki Motors Corporation Philippines has been receiving a great amount of attention in the local motorcycle scene. One of its top contenders in the sports touring segment is the Kawasaki Dominar 400. Its name, Dominar, which also means, dominate, suits its muscular appearance and great capabilities for those seeking thrilling adventures. The Kawasaki Bajaj Dominar 400 got an LED headlamp and tail lamp and adjustable headlights. Other essential features equipped on this motorbike include a digital odometer, speedometer, fuel gauge, and a split-reverse LCD display. This sports touring motorcycle shares the same powertrain with the Austrian brand KTM Duke 390, which is a powerful 373cc single-cylinder SOHC liquid-cooled and fuel-injected gasoline engine that has 35 horsepower and 35 newton meters of torque. Its mill is then coupled to a six-speed manual transmission. For added safety, Kawasaki Dominar 400 features an engine check warning, pass switch, slipper clutch, and anti-lock braking system abs. 
Available in gray variants. The Kawasaki Dominar 400 price starts at 175,000 pesos. Known as the Corner Rocket, the 390 Duke is another naked bike of the KTM brand that ensures maximum maneuverability and precision. Attractive equipment includes a so-called Supermoto mode. Activated at a push of a button, the mode will only control the front brake, leaving the rear brake pressure to the rider's right foot, KTM says, to push one's riding skills to the limit. A fully digital instrument panel contains readouts such as two trip meters, gear indicator, a shift light, and clock. This particular feature has light sensitivity, which automatically changes the backlight color depending on the outside conditions. A ride-by-wire throttle is also present. The 390 Duke is motivated by a liquid-cooled DOHC 4-valve. 373 cc engine that makes 43 horsepower and 37 newton meters of torque. It's mated to a six-speed manual transmission that uses a slipper clutch. An anti-lock braking system (ABS) is one of the safety features as well as disc brakes. Available in orange and white variants. The KTM 390 Duke price starts at 289,000 pesos. With its fresh street styling and peppy engine, the Kawasaki Z400 is a worthy travel companion on your daily commute. For the Philippine market, this naked bike is made available with only one ABS variant. The Kawasaki Z400 comes equipped with standard digital gauges, front and rear disc brakes, and a pair of good-looking 17-inch wheels. The beating heart of the Kawasaki Z400 is a 399cc liquid-cooled, 4-stroke, DOHC engine that churns out a healthy 45 horsepower and 38 newton meters of torque. This mill is then mated with a 6-speed manual transmission. Safety and security features include an anti-lock braking system (ABS) and an immobilizer. Available in orange, black, green and red variants. The Kawasaki Z400 price starts at 298,000 pesos. Made its way in the Philippines in 2018, the Kawasaki Ninja 400 is a monster bike that brags a combination of performance, agility, and controllability in one muscular body. Coming from the widely popular family of Ninja, this street legal, sport bike's ABS version and KRT variant are both available at same price. With a powerful DNA running through its body, the Ninja 400 also takes a lot of great qualities from its bigger siblings, making it a perfect fit for both new and skilled riders. Aside from its aggressive styling, this new motorbike also got a trellis frame similar to the Ninja H2, assist and slipper clutch, as well as incredible stopping power with large 310mm semi-floating front disc brakes, which is the same ones used on the Ninja ZX14R, the biggest in its class. For rider comfort, the Ninja 400 comes with radiator fan and side fairings. Other new features also include LED lighting, digital instrumentation, an anti-lock braking system (ABS), and a mobilizer for safety. Living up to its powerful blood, the Ninja 400 is powered by a 399cc liquid-cooled four-stroke DOHC gasoline engine that can deliver up to 49 horsepower and 38 newton meters of torque. This powertrain is then connected to a six-speed manual gearbox. Available in ABS white or black and KRT lime green variants. The Kawasaki Ninja 400 price starts at 315,000 pesos. Recently, the popularity of motorcycles has grown in the country. With so many variants available, this listing intends to share the best expressway legal motorcycles fit for any lifestyle. Share your top 400cc and above motorcycle down in the comments section and don't forget to like and subscribe the channel for more motorcycle contents.